So in this video, we're going to be learning about arrays in JavaScript. So uh, the first question you're probably asking yourself is, what is an array? And an array is just basically a way of storing multiple values in a single variable inside JavaScript. Well, it's inside any language, it's the same. So to create an array, what we do is we create a variable, and I'm going to call mine my array. And we set it equal to two square brackets like this. So uh, normally you would say var, I don't know, name equals Francis. And you would set it equal to a string, which is uh, delimited by two uh, double quotes. So an array is delimited by um, two square brackets. And in JavaScript, actually, semicolons are not compulsory, but I'm just going to put one in um, just to avoid confusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array of strings. Arrays can hold uh, multiple data types. So for example, there's a string. I could put a number in as well, so I could say 10. And I can also include um, objects such as um, well another array, or I could include an object I created, or I can include a function. So I'll just say PHP. Python, and I'm going to say down here document dot write my array. So as you can see, it prints it out like a list. It looks like a normal string with uh, commas in between each item. And as you can see, JavaScript has no problem including a number uh, with strings in the uh, one array. So uh, to keep things simple, I'm just going to change this to a string. So I'll say um, JavaScript. So in JavaScript, there's a function called type of, and if I say, uh, I'll actually say console.log, and I'll say type of my array. And then to do this, what we have to do is we have to open up um, the console, and we'll refresh. And as you can see, the console says object. What this means is that JavaScript sees arrays as objects. So what this means, that's why we can include um, objects in arrays. Uh, well, what that also means is we can create arrays using the new keyword. So I could say var uh, my, I don't know, let's say second array. And I can set that equal to a new array. And I can give it, say, five. And what this will do is this creates a new array with five undefined uh indexes in it, so five spaces for information that uh, are currently empty. Um, there's no point using this second method, it's just you can do it, but it's more, uh, it's preferred to use the uh, first method, because this first method you could say, like this, my uh, say third array, I can just set that equal to uh, say five, and what this does is this um, creates a third array with um, space for five items in it. So the difference between using the new array keyword and just you know putting in two square brackets and the number is the number tells JavaScript how many uh, how many items the array can hold. But what uh, the new array keyword and the function does is it creates a new array with five items in it. So this uses more memory um, straight away. At this moment, uh, this array will be smaller than this one because this one has filled five um, spaces up uh, as undefined. So it is uh, slower to use this second method and it's more preferred just to use the method, uh, the first one. So since arrays are objects, I can um, use, I can do this. So if I get rid of the um, square brackets and replace them with curly brackets, what I'm doing now is I'm creating an object, I'm not creating an array, but an array and an object are the same thing. So then what I can do is I can say um, line one, line two, and then I'll say line three. And now what I'll do is I'll say console.log my array dot line one. And as you can see, we get Python returned to us. If I say line two, we'll get PHP. And if I say line three, we'll get JavaScript. So what you can do to access items in an array is, let's just go back to an ordinary array. So what you can do to access items in an array is I could say console.log uh, my array and get the zeroth index. So since computers count from zero, that will get Python because this is the zeroth index 
This is the first one, and this is the second one, even though there's three, three items in the array. So if I uh, refresh the page now, you can see we get Python again. I can overwrite items in an array uh, doing this. So I could say my array uh, 0 equals HTML. And now if I refresh the page, as you can see, we get HTML returned to us. So you can add a new item to an array by uh, doing this. You could say my array, and then you put the square brackets to give it uh, an index. And I could say my array dot length. And the, way, the reason this works, I actually have to give it a value, so I'll say uh, CSS. So the reason this works is because arrays count from zero. So even though there's three items in this, this JavaScript element will have an index of two. And since there's three items, the length of this will be three. So this is the same as saying my array three equals CSS. It's the exact same way, except this is a more dynamic way because this means no matter what length of our what length our array is, we'll add a new item to the end of it. So I'm just going to uh, log console.log the entire array, and you'll see we get CSS added to the end of it. Okay, so the reason we got that error was we just have to get rid of the brackets. So uh, let's refresh. And as you can see, we get Python, PHP, JavaScript, and CSS is the last element in the array. The reason that didn't work is because um, length isn't a method, which is just basically a function. Length is a property, which just has the uh, name of the property. It doesn't have anything after it. So just remember, length is a property, not a method. And so that when you're using it, you don't put the parentheses on the end of it. So I'm going to add another item to the array. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to add an array inside of an array. So as you can see, you'll find out now, I, I can add an array to an array by just creating another array up here. So I'm var, um, just call it A. And I'll just give it some value. So I can say test. And hello, and I could just add it to this array by doing that, and that would add the array. I can also do it uh, this way, so I could just get rid of that. And in here, I'll just paste in here uh, the new um, array. And if I console.log that now, you can see we have another array. And if I open this up, you can see uh, inside we have two. We have an array inside an array. So that's been a short introduction to arrays in JavaScript. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow us on Google Plus um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.